chapter 18 map reading and locating places now in this chapter you will be learning about the basic language of the maps what is a map how you can we read a map how map is made what are the scales used you cannot use a normal uh, exact length of the distances between places you have to reduce them to make it in a smaller scale so how is it done what are the directions and the landmarks used in a map what you use uh, what are the symbols which are used which also i will discuss with you and also what is an atlas these all things we will be discussing little briefly in your this chapter in your previous classes you would have already learned about plans and what are directions how do you make a small map in a smaller scale of going from one smaller place like your class to your home or small something like that but here we'll be discussing how the proper big maps are made in the previous class you must have read about plans and directions you may have also drawn the map of your class now what is a map a map is the drawing of any place it can be a bank colony town city or a country maps are very useful to find the location of a place a map shows the distance we have to cover so now in this chapter you are reading what is a map now what is a map it is a map is a thing which tells us a location of a place to find any place a uh, location of any in any place in a city or in a country when you are looking into the, as whole the maps are very useful it a map can also be of a, a bank a bank can have their map diagram of where all which room is will be there you also make uh, of a colony if you are a small colony is being made uh, you can have a map this is the community area this is uh, the uh, residential area this will be the market area in that colony so a town a city so all those a map gives you a one point uh, look at where are all these small all the places in that area okay so that is what is a map tells about the location of each places in word mapo which means a napkin so exactly it was a latin word was mapo mundi where mapo means the napkin or a cloth napkin mundi means world so the this means in latin so it was a uh, the world in a napkin or in a smaller things in a two dimensional way you could see the complete world at one go that is why in shorter form we started calling it as map now how to read the map now what are the basic ingredients or things required to read a map or even to make a map so there are few things which help us to read the map do you know how read it is it so now we are going to see one by one what are the basic things required to read the map is the scale now when a map is made the scaling is very necessary so maps are always drawn on a scale it is not possible to make maps of the actual size of a place so maps are made in smaller size so they are easy to carry the distance shown on a map is smaller than the actual distance but a fixed ratio to the actual distance for example a distance of 200 kilometers between two cities can be shown as 2 cm on a map this means on this map 100 kilometers are taken to be 1 cm thus 100 kilometers is equal to 1 cm is the scale used on the map different maps may have different scales so now how is the scaling done so you children we cannot make a map with the actual distances so for example if it is distance from here from our city like srinagar to delhi is around 600 or 700 whatever kilometers so if i draw a map with the exact scale to make a map of 600 700 kilometers and then another city you take so it is a huge thing you have to make which is become so bulky you can you almost need a big room almost more than that so we fixed a small a small the actual distance is now fixed into a smaller ratios for example now uh, if the distance between from here to delhi is there so we exactly fix for every 100 kilometers it is 1 cm so for 600 kilometers it become 6 cm so you have to only take 6 cm of scale to show between srinagar to delhi on a paper on or on a map whatever you mean so it becomes a smaller concise part so from here to jammu if it is 100 km so it comes only one so one centimeter smaller distance can be shown so it becomes very easier to make it on a smaller paper so the scales are used and it has to be fixed ratio 
so whatever so every so we fix that every 1 cm is 100 km so if it is 1000 km so 10 cm will be so like that you scale and every map has got different scales marks which is essential for any map reading direction and landmarks are also used to locate places on the map now what is which place you have to know the logo of a map map is usually shows north at the top at the bottom south the right side shows east and the left side shows west the heading or title of the map tells us what the map is about a map also has a key or a legend the ideas of the detail of the area such as river roads railway lines police stations schools hospital post office dams boundaries etc known as landmarks are important reference points that help us to locate a place so now when you see a map as you can see in the picture here also what is the heading the top it is an india map with state and union territories given so it talks about the indian map and what are the union territories and states in this so you can easily find out which state is where the northern part the up part is always shown as the north then you have the south you have the west and the east now when you see at the bottom of the map on the right side at bottom you will see there's an international boundary there's a state unit territory boundary country and state ut capital so country's capital is given in the red square and state and ut capital in the in the black dots so this is the legend which tells us the, uh, which has a, a which is a key or a legend which is tells us what all is there in this how it is shown so the like rivers if you can add even the rivers if it is a uh, physical map of india you can be see rivers you can see mountains which also can be shown in this legend so this corner part we show the legend here keys to the uh, extra which i can show you this picture shows you the key so the land is shown as a a small piece of this water is shown as a zigzag blue mountains forest small towns as smaller cities you see capital is shown as a red color square or a red color uh, do, uh, circle will be say rivers are like given shown like this you have hospital where h will be written police station p fire station will be there how is the park road shown you had also you have this more symbols which you can see here is how airport uh, a, a petrol pump bus stop hospitals etc telephone booth if nearest telephone booth a lighthouse so these are all the landmarks which are shown in a legend on the corner right hand side bottom always there will be a legend showing if they want to show all these things in a map these are the symbols to be used in a map so uh, which is used in a map let's see atlas an atlas is a book of maps it has maps of the different countries of the world the maps are of three kinds political physical and thematic at the end of the atlas we find an index which tells us where we can find any country city town etc in fact we can find most of the geographical things in the atlas now let's talk about atlas now what is an atlas an atlas is a complete book or encyclopedia also you could say of all the different type of maps which you can find around you maps of any country map of any city map of any continent can be found in a atlas now maps can be of three types one is physical political and thematic now what is a political map a political map gives you the maps mostly are about the countries the continents the cities the towns everything comes under which can be clearly seen in a political map in a physical map it is a physical geographical positions or areas can be shown like mountains which mountains are there in which continents which rivers are flowing where which uh, glaciers all these can be seen in a physical things of any continent cities or nations can be seen in a physical map now now last is the thematic map the thematic map based on themes themes can be of anything now how many uh, what is the population of male population of this country Uh, in this region what is the female population what is the animal population of tiger population you want to know so all these can be come we come to know basic on some themes or some idea which is taken and then that is called as thematic map now at the end of the map you will always find a thing called as index 
Now, what is an index? Index is a place where you page you come to know which page number, which countries. For example, when you also write your classwork copy or you see any textbook, in the first or the second page, there will be an index which where the chapter name and the page number will be coming. So, you can immediately go to that page instead of just searching it. Similarly, an index in an atlas give you, if you want to know any city of your country, for example, where is Delhi or where in any, country, any city of America you want to know, if you know the name of the city, just go to the index, search for that and it will be given in alphabetical order. So, you come to know or to see in that alphabet and if you see the page number will be given, come to that page in that list, you will come to find that place or a city in that region. So, it, it gives you an immediate uh, easiness to find any city, town or country in an atlas. So, almost all the geographical things can be found in an atlas.